Hello, YouTubers. As you may have heard among eschatological discussions, Revelation 6 and Matthew 24 seem to parallel one another. I don't discuss this particular argument much because I feel that it's been talked about enough elsewhere. However, a couple of things that haven't been discussed or have unsatisfactory answers are the purpose of the seals and also why the fifth seal is the Great Tribulation. In this video will go into detail about those two issues. First, let me briefly describe the parallel between the two passages. In short, the wars and rumors of war spoken of in Matthew 24 refer to the first four seals. Immediately after the tribulation, in other words, the sixth seal, the sun is darkened, and so forth, and the powers of the heaven are shaken. So, if you recognize the parallel between Revelation 6 and Matthew 24, the only logical conclusion is that the fifth seal is a great tribulation. The sixth seal comes after the fifth seal, after all. But you shouldn't trust my interpretation. I'm going to show you that the Bible flat out states that the fifth seal is the Great Tribulation. If you notice, during the fifth seal, it's mentioned of them that are given white robes that they're also told to rest for a little bit. Well, a chapter later, John saw people coming in white robes and wondered who they were. Why didn't John recognize who they were, considering he just wrote about them a chapter ago? One possible explanation is that he saw them in such a glorified state in the next chapter that he didn't recognize them. In short, the angel was saying John should know who those people in the white robes were, since he had just been told about the seven seals. Regardless, the angel directly told him that those who were given white robes are those that had come out of the Great Tribulation, that is, the fifth seal. So now let me explain the purpose of the seals, that is, why these events are described as seals. That's important because then you'll understand why the rapture must happen after the tribulation. I'll explain first by asking a question. What would it take to make God angry enough to destroy the inhabitants of the earth? Because to be clear, that is precisely what we're talking about. What would make God angry enough to destroy the inhabitants of the world? How about when the world has become so evil that they end up persecuting or killing most of God's followers? Isn't that exactly what these people were persecuted in the fifth seal are asking for? For God to avenge their blood? So, see, the very purpose of the tribulation is for the church to be persecuted and killed, so that God will become angry enough to bring forth his wrath. In other words, it unseals his anger. But even when the people know his wrath is coming, they don't seek him nor repent. Instead, they hide in caves, so that in the sixth seal it is shown the unsealing of the day of the Lord. God's wrath hasn't come yet, but it's about to. So, consider the seven seals as showing both why God is angry and why his anger is justified. And one of the reasons for his anger is because the world he's killed or persecuted most of his followers. That's all the time I have for now. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing. Thanks for your time.